Greetings everyone, and how are we today? Well, we, this part of the we is okay. It's all good. Thank you very much, and thank you for joining. <laughs> and if there's anyone, any new subscribers, thank you for joining as well. Welcome on board. Um, so, 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 not so, 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 so good. Right. And uh, Kit, Kit. Kit Kit is here as well to say hello. So he's going to say hello. Not very good there. Hello. And down he goes. Hey, little boy. There we go. Right. Let's hit it. Kit Kat, you can sit there and groom as you will. Uh, right. Or you can purr, you can sit there and just purr like a diesel engine. There we go. Okay, you must find your tail because I'm going to run over you. Okay, let's, let's take this to the next level, shall we? I, I need to start now adding a wee bit of colour. Hmm. <coughs> and there's this kind of uh, up here, there's this. sort of uh, almost over here slightly JD blue there's definitely JD go jade going on in here uh, with uh, a little turquoise it's like quite a lot of quite a lot of turquoise as well in here so let's just hint at that going on and so on and so forth mm. trying to get peel labels off these things are sometimes another story Go, okay, let's do that. Right. So, if you if you if one looks at this in terms of layers, then I guess this would be kind of the uh, the third layer application. Um, 
even though, you know, at any time during the entire process, and even once it's complete, you can still see the first layer of, uh, of charcoal and whatnot uh, coming through, because I still pull through a little bit of charcoal on the, along the way as well. So, uh, yeah. You know, really, okay, very much break if you want to. Hey little Kit Kat. Hey hey. What do you say? Just um, at this stage, just working on getting the uh, the background or the uh, behind the wave water um, going, so that I don't have to fuss with it once I start, you know, doing applying acrylic and what have you to this to this area, because uh, this will remain untouched. So I'm going to I'm going to work on the line work of this of this this area this morning or today during this session just to get that going properly. So I'm working with a little bit of uh, Conte at the moment Conte Crown. So the actual uh, it, it's less apparent than than the uh, in its application than the chalk pastel. So it leaves, but it leaves when you build up the line a little bit. It leaves a nice consistent. perspective difference. Also, want to use a little bit of uh, charcoal in between 
just to bring in the, that wee bit of contrast in tint. This needs breaking off because it's now got a little knot in it. Better, I think. Yeah. So these charcoal sticks um, quite often, because obviously they're still essentially little twigs. So um, as opposed to the compressed charcoal, which is obviously charcoal, a charcoal, a charcoal that's been powdered um, and then compressed and made into a into a a kind of a pastel in type of shape and size, um, which is which is a, a, a very very black piece. Uh, but what I was saying was these these little these little charcoal sticks um, have got little knots in them. You can see them, and where the knots are, it becomes very flinty and hard. So you just have to break off a little piece and then and then continue. But by and large it's it should be quite soft. Of course you get you get you get different consistencies. You never can tell really with charcoal because it's a it's basically a, a natural thing that's been that's just been fired or baked rather. And that's really how charcoal is made. I don't know if there's any difference in the actual process from from uh, uh, charcoal that we use in in fires, um, or uh, this artist's charcoal. There's certainly a difference in price that I can tell you. <laughs> Do they still use wood for, they must use wood for charcoal, to make charcoal with, goodness me, the amount of uh, forestation that, that is required, hey? For all sorts of stuff. Use a little bit of the indigo, a little bit of indigo as well. You know, interestingly, uh, when I was younger, at uh, in my uh, in my years studying graphic design and so on, and I really didn't didn't enjoy charcoal at all, uh, nor pastel for that matter. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? Well, I think it was more just the, the oil pastels. I, 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 I do not take to, to oil pastels. I never have. But, uh, and obviously it's a personal thing. Um, the, uh, yeah, and charcoal, charcoal drawing was, mm, I didn't like it. For what reason, I cannot tell you, because now I love it. <laughs> 30 years and some on later on. Um, I guess things change, don't we? We have tastes and everything change. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, figured. Excuse me, Kit Kat, please. I need to move this thing. This this thing will run over your feet. Sorry. Sorry, Bo. <laughs> Kit Kat is still busy grooming himself right there under my, almost under my chair, so I don't want to run over his tail. Do I, Kit Kat? He is. Oh, come on, boy. You got your tail stuck on a mud wheel, man. Come on, buddy. <laughs> um, he is the most communicative little boy one could ever imagine. He really does. all but talk oh he does in, in his own way he you know we, we we do manage to communicate really really well i don't know whether it's a simply a vibrational frequency thing or what but uh yeah in that respect he's definitely a he's definitely my soulmate a soulmate of mine um amazing little chap and very very intuitive well, oh, I, I guess, I guess we all say things like this about our pets, but uh, everyone that's met him has uh, has commented on these kinds of things in different ways. Um, yeah. Oh, lordy, lord! This is one of those. Ugh. Okay, okay, it's not so bad. All right, then. I need to get another set of these. These are nice little pastels, actually. Anyway. Yeah, he always needs, he seems to know, Kit Kat I'm still talking about, he always seems to know if something is amiss, even perhaps before I know it, or something is unsettling me, or, and he will come and he's very, very attentive then, and hangs about, and comes and if I'm not feeling well, he'll come and lie right next to me or sit on me or something like that. Strange little chap. But... And even uh, even when I'm if I'm working with uh, if I'm coaching somebody uh, he'll come and he'll come and greet uh, them and then he will also once we sit down and start working he will also sometimes he will come and have a little personal session with the client himself um, and stay present sometimes sometimes he'll leave so uh, yes he's he's very very intuitive to uh, to energies 
all cats are, but Kit Kat seems to be one of these guys that um, is hypersensitive to, to all of this. Yeah, anyway, that's Kit Kat. So where I've now added this uh, this first layer of, of charcoal, when I set up my uh, when I set up the contrast, and now I work over that. So charcoal that I use now picks up on that that nice depth of contrast from the charcoal and blends with that. You want to come and sit here somewhere, Kit Kat? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Hmm? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you want to go over there somewhere? All right then. Once again, the first bird of the day, our bulbul shrike, or toppy as we call them, is is uh, out in song. No, please don't start with the light once again. God, Kit Kat. He can be, however, quite persistent in his doing things that he knows he shouldn't be doing. Anyway, so he looks like he's just going to sit there and on off the light. Tip, 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 tip. Just put his head in front of the light all the time. Um, yeah, it's just gone ten past four in the morning, and uh, already the toppy is out in song. <laughs> Fantastic. So, in blending these mediums, uh, I find that charcoal and chalk pastel blend really well together. They're worth they they are they're of us they are of a similar consistency, kind of chalky. Um, some people call it chalk pastel. Uh, some people call it chalk pastel. Others call it soft pastel. Um, yeah. That's basically what it is. Um, so the two mediums work really nicely together. You can blend them well. Um, the Conte as well also works very nicely with them. Um, yeah, so it's just been almost by default that, that I've... Christ, I can't. He's going to start making a hell of a noise now. Um, because there's lots of uh, paper down the back here um, that he's going to start scrunching in. <laughs> That'll be joyful. Yeah, so almost by default that I've that I've 
come to use charcoal and chalk pastel together and then added oh even years later a good three or four years later after I began using these two together um, I uh, started to, 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 to bring in some acrylic white um, for the extreme highlights and so on. I've got a look. Okay, I need to get some of that yellow in there. There's a yellowiness to this as well. I feel it needs to be just a hint here and there. needs to come into this this layer and also down here just a little bit of this mustard mustard yellow just a hint it's almost like it's almost like when you make a when you make a curry and all those little, little, little herbs and spices that you add in just add to and augment the flavor. And it's exactly what I'm trying to do here. So, and there's, you know, depending on your inclination, normally a curry you would, you would start with um, obviously frying up your onion. Uh, okay, which is, this isn't a cooking lesson, by the way, but I'm just I'm, I'm trying to also draw comparisons. Once again, it's it's a creative process. You start with the onion, and then uh, <laughs> it's actually now that I've even started to talk about it, I can feel the uh, I can feel the the parallels coming in. Uh, Start with the onion, get the onions sort of somewhat sauteed and then and then you start adding some of the spices. Turmeric, the uh, jira seeds, the obviously the Kashmiri powder, etc. Lachi, all these sort of things. Get them all going and and working together, blending um, all the different all the different flavors now start to start to infuse. Um, and those the amounts that you use are there's no recipe for these things. You can't you can't actually say, well you put a certain amount of this and a certain amount of that and a it's 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 just by feeling every single dish is different um, and this is why I say there's a please will you stop your fixation with this bloody light get, get, come on buddy oh um, um, there's why I say there's there's this comparison it's, it's a, because as, as I say it's a creative process and and there's no formula to it or well, there shouldn't be a formula to it because the best curries are the ones that are just what they just happen they pull themselves together um in my humble opinion of course sorry i just found myself using a uh piece of pastel, at least a piece of charcoal all of a sudden. And that's exactly what I'm, as I'm talking about, just letting it happen for its, of it, as, it, as it requires of itself. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm 
artwork or anything that you work on is much the same just let go of it just let it do its thing let all the colors the flavors do their work it's not in a particular measure I don't sit here and mix colors to say well you know um, This is what I, yeah, I, 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 it's, I can't even explain it. It's <laughs> just one of those things. It just has to happen of its own accord. And he's back. Bloody light again. Hey, you want to come tackle the light? He's got something to do. He's got something today. Uh, and he's on about with that damn light that he wants to sniff at it and get in front of it and. <laughs> Don't know. In fact, I think I'd like to put in a little bit of uh, sort of a ye lemony yellow, lemony yellow, lemony yellow. Yeah, that will do. Mm. Just a hint, mind you. There we go. It's enough. It's almost like a. It's almost like I'm using a fil uh, um, filters, you know, different colors, different, and they all add dimension to uh, to what I'm working on. Just very subtly, because all of this area is going to be now built up with lots of lots of white line work. Now, where did that stupid color come from? You want that? Uh, yeah, so lots of line works. I'm just, I'm just uh, getting this, this layer nice and nicely blended. I'm really going to have some fun with the, uh, with acrylics uh, with this piece. Lots of fun, I might add. This calls for a little bit of the, a little bit of Almost as if there's, it's catching the sunlight. Yeah, but just kind of from behind a little bit and there's a glint coming through. Very, very, very subtle. So I'll blend that out as well. Uh, mm. Guy, what are you looking for? I, I I would love to have more of a range. You see, some of these colors are fantastic. Like this particular olivey, mossy green. Um, and there's, I have another one. So that there's, there's two of these. The two that I have, I wish, I would like to have like, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, oh. I would like to have a an in between, uh, so because it takes quite a bit of work now too. Because I've got this is a little bit too dark. The other one's very light, or much lighter, 
and <laughs> I start having to compensate. It's okay, I can work with it. It would just be nice to have a, a just one of those massive sets of, of <coughs> pastels that you get and be done with it. Thank you very much. <coughs> of my with my eraser <clears throat> so those of you who are new to my tube channel um, I use my eraser not as to erase with as we are traditionally uh, introduced to the eraser as a child um, oh I remember I used to love getting a new eraser, um, a Stapler or a Faber-Castell. <laughs> this one's a Faber-Castell actually. Anyway, besides the point. Um, so I use it not to erase with, but to blend with. And it's a fantastic tool to use like that. It's, it's great for, for a, kind of pulling one color into another and and uh, cross blending and and then and then also creating these little uh patterns almost that pull colors across so i'm, I'm working sort of contraflow um as well uh they, they are fantastic this uh, eraser is probably the best tool that i've come across so far for for Working with grass, working with grass, not weed, um, grass, uh, <laughs> grassy areas. Um, it's really sure. It, it's you can you can get those nice uh, slim blades of grass going. Uh, it's uh, brilliant for that. Absolutely brilliant. And as I'm do, as I'm working with it now, it's just creating this lovely texture to the water and sometimes I'll, I'll I'll use it very hard and create this little fleck where it moves where it removes right down to the uh, right down to the paper the base paper and uh, and then and then subtly blends it out into the into the color surrounding <clears throat> and that I don't know I nobody told me about this I just happened to for some reason use it the one day for something and I thought oh that looks nice and Bob's your auntie It's one of my favorite tools, blending tools. So you see, as I have been explaining previously all along, it's not just about me. I'm just, I'm, I'm the artist, but yes, I'm just the bus driver really. Because without all of these little tools, they all make a difference. They all add their, their their little bit of impact to to bring a piece of art together. In a very special way. This tool, the, my eraser, trusty old eraser, makes all the difference. Please, with that light Kit Kat, he's just got this absolute, I don't know what it is. Maybe he's seeing funny spirits of things that around the light. Maybe it's just warm. I don't know. <coughs> so yeah, it's a 
fantastic tool. That's enough of that for now. Okay, let me move forward with a little bit of Now I go over this blended area with my contact crayon and these lines just punch out nicely. And as I've always said, you'll see that in terms of the, the, the how this timing of this piece rolls out, the first day goes very quickly. The first it all starts to happen, it all takes shape, the composition, that's, it, that's intentional. The light and shade, uh, or highlighted areas versus the dark areas, that fundamentally, uh, it all comes together very rapidly and then the pace slows down. And then the pace slows, slows down. I'm using my white contour at this stage, and I'm using about an eight millimeter piece because <laughs> I don't know why I just use a new one. Anyway, uh, let's get going with a little bit more white, shall we? Many of these white areas are going to be splattered with acrylic later on. But I still need a, a lot of work. You know, this, this beautiful jade that I so love working with uh, in this area here. Mm. It is such a wonderful color and it's, uh, it's, it's like a, it's like a blend of the mossy greens olive um tiny bit of touch of lemony yellow um and then uh, this turquoise it's the hint of turquoise that comes in as well
and I'm juggling back and forth with these all these different colors here is there's five or six colors that I'm using just in this little area over here just to try and get it absolutely right and sometimes it's not the colors that are blending but how they're sitting next to each other as well it just creates that illusion of color it's like it's it's like a it's like printed material um, uh, newsprint and uh, and so on magazines that sort of thing those aren't solid colors that are printed um, photograph in a newspaper color photograph in a newspaper for example if you look very very closely in fact get yourself a magnifying glass and have a look very closely it's, it's made up of essentially four colors uh, in dots pick pick you up and down buddy up and down hey eh? <laughs> um, so it's made up of dots and the dots are cons consist of four colors cyan magenta yellow and yellow and black um, and then those dots depending on their intensity so you have four, the four layers of print um, and depending on their intensity so it forms the colors of an image so that it's just how they in how those colors engage with one another um, they're not blended color it's it's uh, with print you'll do us a, a, a each each run of color is different so in other words they'll they'll put it through the machine well I don't know how they do it these days I haven't been up with the the, the technological side of print these days so it's all digitized and what have you but uh, but basically what happens is the, uh, the normal printing process is you would run the the, 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 the lighter colors first yellow for example yellow goes through the through the machine all the yellow where yellow appears in the image so it will run through the machine tick 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 um, yes that's the sound that sound it makes that's the sound it actually makes but um, <laughs> uh, and then once that's done and dried then the next color goes through anyway um, and so on until you end up with black and the black then is added with the copy uh, text and what have you um, and then you end up with a finished product with all the colors sitting one on top of the other or, 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 or and working together to form <clears throat> a specific color cyan yellow for example will then create this they have this uh, this pattern which then uh, blends together to form green and so on and so on and so on There are some nice subtleties going on here with with regards to uh, contrast and the contrast there's the shady area the, sh the, sh the areas of this piece that are it's very flat looking at the moment um, but I'm going to work in the shade areas with color and then finally the highlighted areas with acrylic the very highlighted areas there's such a nice play on light here with this piece Thank you. 
blue and turquoise and green to, to form the to form shadow and it's very subtle shadow it's not the kind of dark you know shadow that you find using chalk using charcoal for example it's very very subtle so it's i'm using pale blue here <coughs> but it will contrast with the white such that it looks like shadow and i'll also use a little bit of little bit of aqua um uh, Turquoise, I always I keep forgetting, I have to stop and think every time with that, with that word, I just, for some reason, have an aversion to using it, so you must forgive me if I am not forthcoming sometimes, I kind of grinds to a halt, my speech grinds to a halt, <laughs> uh, such that it is. So you'll start to see why this, is, this now then takes time because there's a great deal of subtlety that I need to be applying myself with here. Um, remember I said um, on day one that we're gonna complete this piece tomorrow, Thursday? Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe not you never can tell it's it's just this is now you know and 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 and, and this i'm just realizing now you know it's it's there's such subtleties that show up and the fact that i need to create the shadow areas in In the pale colors has just occurred to me now that that's what's happening i'm going okay well that's how it's happening then but it's just it's it's really just i've just been informed my artwork and all the pieces involved have pulled together the different hues of blues and greens have just pulled together and said to me guy this is how it needs to work so yeah didn't start out like that <laughs> this is why it's so wonderful this journey uh, every single journey with the, every single piece is just a you, you never know really what to expect not that i'm going mad or something and, and you know becoming a little bit unhinged well you know uh, that's debatable but uh it's just it's just so lovely to not have to have that that expectation of this absolute result in mind that that uh, this is what this is how it needs to happen this is when it needs to happen and and all that it's just garbage so now we've got a, a different set of rules today um and you go okay well that's great let's do it fantastic it makes it more exciting for me the process more exciting and 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 um interesting intriguing and going now oh, what next because then it makes each piece different <clears throat> each artwork that i work on then becomes its own unique as i've said it has its own soul its own spirit um What was it you said yesterday, Dan, I think? Something about, uh, or the day before, whenever it was, a new piece is born or comes into being, comes to life. Um, and it is, it's, it's, it's kind of, it has a life. It, and each piece has its own specific, particular character, just like we do. Its own way of being comes into being. I think, I forget what Dan said, but uh, it was... That made me think, you know, yes, that's exactly what it is. Because I had been speaking about the fact that these, that, that, that 
there's a sp there's a there is a a spirit or a uh, <clears throat> a soul to 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 each artwork that. I'm very happy with the progress today. <clears throat> I'm building a very important layer here that uh, needs a lot of work and it looks at this point very kind of bland and flat but it provides the basis for what is yet to come. About four minutes to go, thereabouts. And we shall continue along this vein tomorrow. So the artwork decides when it's when it when it's time to complete. That's why I like to give it the week and and for the size and for the materials that I'm using the week or the or, or, or up to five sessions is sufficient to complete always so yeah there have been there have been pieces that I've worked on that have taken three sessions <laughs> surprisingly so you know Others, by and large, lately have been five session pieces. Uh, yes, so. such a lovely potpourri of colors going on in here um, wunderbar wunderbar See, so when you when you add a color, first of all, like I've just done with this with this uh, turquoise, um, add the color. It looks very, very uh, overly vibrant and what have you, and then just a little bit of smudging and it dissipates and it blends in with its surroundings. You know, so we always almost too want to. Uh, well, that's the color. That's what's going to be. No, no, not 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 when you're blending it. Just add some nice. White over the top of that and it recedes right back, but it, it doesn't recede so far that it's completely covered. And it just builds that wonderful depth to this. Uh, Goodness, I, I do hope that I can do it, do the do this justice when it comes to the acrylics, because uh, there's a lot of subtlety going on here, and I don't want to 
over overdo it. Mm. All right, guy. I think we. I think I should call it a day. So far, so good, working well. Uh, fantastic. Okay. People, thank you for joining me today. Uh, and uh, yes, we're well on the way now. Um, um, I've got, it, it's, as I said, it's still other pieces take shape a lot quicker because or well, seem to uh, take shape a lot quicker like the previous piece with the with the long uh, with the long wall going down it's that they're very diff defined um structural structural structurally um whereas this isn't this is just the, these these subtle um these subtle shapes of the water and i'm just this piece is entirely water so um there's no rocks in it. There's no um, con very heavily contrasting things. It's, so it's a very subtle, it's a subtle um, blend of colors and highlights and, and, and shadow areas and so on that need that will ultimately need to come together. Um, but at this stage, still looking like a little bit of a, of a breakfast, but um, I'm happy with where we're going. Um, it's, 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 we are at the stage of building those, these kind of mid-tones and hues and what have you that, yeah, so it will really be up to the acrylic highlight white that will, that will bring, make, uh, create the punch, punchiness to it. So yeah, anyway, oodles and oodles of toodles. Thank you for joining. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for, uh, your comments, uh, and, uh. Welcome aboard those, again, once again, those new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate it, appreciate it. And uh, do join in again on the morrow. Uh, so yes, have a fantastic day further. And be good, be kind. And yes, goodbye. <laughs> God, my, I am unhinged. You might have noticed. Okay, Kit Kat is now just sleeping. Bye folks. See you later. Doodle. Always doodle.